does my camera zoom in anytime I try to film something? I don't, I need to figure out what's going on with that. Cause now I have to like move back. Okay, anyway, um, I was just in a workshop this morning, um, which is part of like the business program I'm in. And it was about reducing anxiety and stress in your business so you don't burn out. And it was all really helpful information um, some of it I already knew, but it was like, like I already know it, but I don't do it. So it was good to hear it again, um, and really be present for it. I was drawing the entire time, but like, I was still listening and then stopping to take notes as well. Um, one of the things that I wrote down that I wanted to talk about was something she said triggered something in my mind. And it was like, you're allowed to feel the fear, but you can't sit in it. Like you can't let it take over your life, which isn't like a groundbreaking concept or anything, but it is something that I seem to forget a lot of the time. Um, I get afraid of something. A lot of it is like, I guess being perceived by people. Like I still have that fear <laughs> years later and I always, I always think I'm past it. And then I remember that it is so deeply rooted in me that, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be popping up for a very long time. But part of part of moving past that is making YouTube videos, like being perceived by other people. Part of it is obviously like documenting starting a business and just like being a human. But a lot of it is moving past this fear of being seen and being known by people because like I'm kind of, I'm one of those people who will isolate themselves and just like hide in their house. And I don't think that's out of, well, it might be out of fear, a little bit of fear of being known, but I also just really, really love being alone and having time to write and make art and read and just exist as a human being. All this to say, I would, I kind of want to make YouTube videos every single week. I think what I was telling myself before was that it would be too much work, but I always think I have less time than I do. And then I finish something and I'm like, oh, that took two hours when I'm in my head. It was like, oh, that's going to be a whole day. So I think I want to try and make YouTube videos every single week, um, which is an interesting takeaway to get from a workshop on reducing anxiety and stress in your business. But you know what? I'll take it. I'm OK with that. On a completely different note. Um, I built this table last week, um, ignore the crap on it, and I filmed a video of it, but hold, hold on, let me turn myself around. Okay, there we go. Um, when I filmed a video of it, I, I don't know what happened, something happened to the clips, and when I got them on my computer this morning, I was going to edit the entire video today um, after the workshop, but when I got them onto my computer, the first half of them were filmed in slow motion, which isn't the worst thing when it comes to just like doing things and like filming little shots of things. The problem is, is when you're talking and for some reason when you do slow-mo, it like completely cuts the audio entirely. So like the first half of the video just doesn't exist. There's no sound whatsoever. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna insert some of those clips like later on in the video because like, I'm so proud of myself. I built an entire table. Like I don't build things very often. I'd like to, but I don't. But yeah, I was so proud of myself. And then <laughs> I open up the editor and it's just like, yeah, sorry, you're not gonna be making this into a video. And it's like, okay, that's fine, whatever. And I'm really actually kind of proud of myself because like Catherine of like five years ago would have had like a meltdown and just like, okay, never filming another YouTube video again. This sucks, I hate it. <laughs> but um, I've turned it around. So we're just doing a week in my life instead of having the video that I thought I was going to have. And you know what, that's okay. 
And we are so here for um, making tiny alterations in our plans because nothing goes according to plan anyway. Anyway, okay. about half an hour until I go to my bank appointment and have to get a couple groceries, but I thought I would sit down and talk about what I was writing in my journal yesterday. So I'm not normally the kind of person who does any sort of reflective practice, and there's not any reason for that. I've just never started one before. But I was watching a video by Moya yesterday, and she was talking about doing January reflections and February intentions. And I feel like a lot of my life it kind of just like slips by and I do so many things and all of a sudden it's been six months and I have no idea what I've done or like what I have to show for it. And it's, it's not that I'm not doing a lot of things I am. It's just like, I'm not even acknowledging them. It's like, okay, on to the next thing, like every single time. But yeah, so I saw her doing that and I was like, oh, that seems easy enough. Like I can do that. And I generally don't use prompts when I'm writing in my journal either, but this time I did. Um, because that's what she was doing and I was like, okay, why not? Let's try it. And so I came up with a couple prompts for the reflection side and then also for the intention side. Um, it was really easy to come up with the, the questions, but also just the answers as well. Um, the whole thing took about 10 minutes, but I think, I don't know. <laughs> I have a hard time saying I'm going to do something and then like actually sticking to it if I'm not like super into it. Like if I really like something I'm doing, I'll do it forever, obviously. But like if something just like isn't vibing, then I stop doing it. No questions asked. Like I'm not going to make myself do something that I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> so I'm hesitant to say I'm going to do this like forever. But I think I would like to try it for at least all of 2024. And so I was a little late. Like I was doing it yesterday, which was the 6th of February, I think. So a little late in the month, but... um. I think going forward, I wanna do it like right on the last day of the month. But yeah, so the prompts that I used for the reflection side was what went well, what would I like to do differently, 
uh, what were my favorite things from the month, what was I grateful for this month, and how did I improve this month. And I'm not going to tell you everything that I wrote because that would take way too long. I'll tell you then also the prompts that I used for the February intentions, which was what I'd like to focus on, what I'd like to accomplish, um, how do I want to feel this month, and what would make this month a success. Um, I guess I'll speak to the success one a little bit just because I didn't want success to be like, like the typical type, like having to do with like work and whatnot. And I don't want it to be like, I want it to be achievable so that at the end of the month, if I don't do it, I don't feel like I like wasted my time or anything. Um, so what I wrote down was if I hit 60 words on my novel, um, the month would be a success. And if I started walking a few times a week and so as you saw this morning, I have a treadmill now. I bought it um, two days ago and it came in last night. And as much as I would like to be walking outside, it just, it just doesn't seem to happen. I tell myself I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'm like, oh, I could be doing this or this or this, or oh, I don't wanna go early enough in the morning. But with the treadmill, I literally just pull it out from under the couch and plug it in and go. And I found it, like I walked longer on the treadmill than I would have ever walked alone outside in the morning. So already <laughs> it's a success um, and it was worth the money already for me. And like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you just go to the gym if you want to walk on a treadmill? But the problem is like putting on my workout clothes, leaving the house, making it to the gym. Like it's, it's a whole process and I realize it's not that hard, but in my brain it's like, ah, I could be doing other things with my time. So buying a treadmill was like a really good decision on my part. So already, already I'm partially towards my success of February, but yeah, for the novel, it's, if you know me in real life, you know that I started this novel in August and I wrote so much of it. I think I got to like 45,000 words in mid-November and then I just stopped. <laughs> I just like stopped working on it and I've wanted to work on it. I just, I started working on different writing projects. I was really busy with setting up my business. I, I made all these excuses basically. And then two nights ago, I sat down and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna work on it a little bit and see what happens. And it's kind of nuts because like, I hadn't worked on it for, I think it was about two and a half months at that point. And I sat down and it just comes so easy. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna write, but it comes out and then all of a sudden I have the next 2000 words. I know what I'm going to say, which is really exciting. So I'm at, I think I'm at 47,000 words right now. So writing 13,000 words between now, which is February 7th, I believe, and February 29th might sound like a lot, but if I'm writing 1500 words every time I sit down, that's not even that many times that I have to write. And I'm going to be writing later today as well. So I think it is an achievable thing to do. I'm hesitant to say the word goal. Um, I'll explain that in a different video, but I just have this weird thing with the word goal. Um, but that's that's a story for another time. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that a little bit just because like, I don't know, I'm excited for this monthly practice. I feel like it'll be really good for me to like wrap up the month and then like plan what I'm doing for the, for the next month. But yeah, that's, that's today. So I have a bank appointment soon. I have to get a couple groceries. Um, I have a workshop from 12 to two, but I don't know if I'm gonna go. I feel like this week has already been so chaotic and I kind of just want to do other businessy things. All the workshops are recorded anyways, so I'm just like, I don't know, I can go back and watch it when the time suits me better. Like I kind of just want to do like noodly things on my computer that I've been meaning to get to. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what today is gonna look like other than that. Oh, and I have to take Norton to the vet at three, um, but yeah. That's, that's all neither here nor there. I am going to go get ready um, for that appointment and then I will figure out the rest of my day.
I had a couple packages come in recently and I thought I would open them on here so you can see what I got. Um, one of them I already kind of opened because I was like, what the heck is this? Um, <laughs> but now I know what it is. And this, I think I know what it is, but I'm gonna open it anyway. So this one, let's see. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I thought this was what it was. I ordered this plastic tablecloth because um, as you'll see, like I said, <laughs> I tried to film a desk building video, um, but my camera crapped out and ruined half the clips. So you get to see them like soon if you haven't already seen them. I don't know what order things are going in. Regardless, you're sitting on top of the table that is going to be my new art desk, but it is like, it's just plain unfinished wood. And I would like to do a lot more painting in the near future, but um, I don't want this to be just like covered in paint. I actually want it to be nice um, for when I'm, I don't know, I just, I just don't want it to be covered in paint basically. So I bought myself this plastic tablecloth, completely see-through, that I can just kind of like toss over top when I'm painting and then take it off when I'm done, um, which keeps the table looking fantastic and the room looking neat and tidy. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm hoping to paint this weekend. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I know it's like, it's not even like hard to bring out your art stuff and do something, but for some reason I have this like mental block where it's like, oh, but you have to finish all your work stuff first or you have to do this or like, I make excuses for not bringing out my painting stuff. And it's not like it's hard. Like the paintbrushes are right behind you. The paint is in a little trolley right there. <laughs> I just have to like, take the five minutes to set up and then paint something. So I think I'm gonna be doing that this weekend. Anyway, yeah, today has been really busy. I think it's probably, it's like 1.30 right now, I think. I have to leave in about an hour to take Norton to the vet. But all I've done is work um, and I will continue to work. There's just like, I feel like it's one of those days where like hours pass by and all of a sudden it's way later than I thought. Um, I probably should take a break. I don't know that I will, <laughs> we'll see. she's done but the room is a disaster so I'm gonna try and clean this up before I figure out this whole situation over here I didn't talk about it before but so this record player was my grandma's and it is broken um, and then my dad got me this one for my birthday because he'd been trying to fix this one. So now I just have two record players in my office, which um, I don't need. So this one is going to take this place, obviously, and then this one's gonna have to go. And I think everything else is gonna have to get shifted around in order to make this fit. Cause it's not that much bigger than this, but it is a bit bigger. So we gotta shifty some things first um, before this can even get in there. actually stood in this corner of the room so um I guess we're doing new things today that's cool I feel like I'm playing musical chairs like moving things around the room so that they'll fit 
Um, every time I move something else, I realize that I have to move something else to get something else in this place. Um, but one big game of music chairs, that's all we're doing. Okay, there's actually like way more room on either side than I thought there was going to be. So that's something that I still am not like 100% certain if this table with the record player will go back there. I think I need to noodle around with some things and figure out what's going to work for it. Okay, this is what I'm left with after emptying those drawers out, which are <laughs> absolutely covered in glitter and some cat food. That's awesome. I love that. Anyway, so now I have to figure out how to get all of these in there. So I already organized this in my last video, but I honestly don't know if the yarn is going to stay there. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hello. Okay, not bad. I know it re like it really doesn't look like there's a lot of stuff in here and that is because uh, this pile of stuff, ignore everything else, this pile of stuff I'm going to use for art therapy. Um, so if I'm going to see people in person, I'm going to bring these along because I just, I have so many doubles of everything that I don't need to have them like clogging up my closet. Like I can just, you know, use them with clients instead, which is what I'm going to do. get a shot of the room as a whole. Ignore those papers, I still need to file them, but otherwise it's looking a heck of a lot better than it did, I don't know, a few hours ago. This corner is the only thing I'm not totally sure about. Uh, it is like the exact same as it was before. I don't love that the mirror is so far out into the room. Like it's not, hold, hold on, get in the other corner. It's not that big of a deal. Like I can still open the closet when it's like that. It's just I don't know, I think I would like it if the mirror was like right up against that wall, which <laughs> has started me in on this other idea. So first of all, this computer tower is, uh, my ex-boyfriend built this for me, and while the computer itself works great, the box is huge, and I knew that at the time, I knew it was going to be big, but I'm thinking at some point, and maybe this is like a little too ambitious, I think I'm going to take this apart get a much smaller tower and then store it under there so that this corner, I'm thinking possibly record player and table could go over here. Like, I think it'll look cute, but that is like a completely <laughs> later date. Like, I do not have time to do that right now. I don't know how to take apart a computer or put one back together for that matter, which would be very important if I'm doing that. <laughs> so that's gonna be like a different time. Uh, the record player itself. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But this is what we're really here for. Look at this table. Built today, um, organized everything, and look at how she, look how beautiful she is. Like, I realize this is just like straight up raw wood. I don't know that I'm going to paint it. Like, I actually kind of like it like this. Um, I think the color looks really nice with all of the artwork and all of the furniture. I realize these two chairs are both like dark wood. Um, which kind of clash with that, which that might be another project, is sanding this down and either painting it or staining it to match like a little bit more. But that is, again, um, a very <laughs> not today project. I'm not going to think about that. I have other things I have to do today. And so with that, I'm going to end here. 
I, the one thing that I realized from today especially is that I have a lot of art supplies that I'm not using <laughs> and I really hope that having this big table, um, this big space to work will make it so that I actually make art rather than say that I'm going to make art and then not do it. So that's one thing I've learned from today. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because I need to go <laughs> do a whole bunch of work that I've been putting off all morning. It's like two in the afternoon now. This took like four hours of organizing and building. Way more than I expected, but that's okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.